turning on everything. I mean, today less less non-gaming topics, more gaming topics. The timer goes on. We're three hours and 30 minutes in, and we have another hour. No, that one is working. So we're getting that done. Yep, this should be hopefully working. See? Think things are things are things are working good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the timer and we get another hour. We get another hour to reach level 60. It could be tricky. We just missed the Legion event, but we're going to straight up go into the Hell Tie. Oh, Hell Tie. Straight up go into that. But with level 46, I said the Overworld should be easy, and we should be getting the, the Overworld completely destroyed very quick. So let's see about that. Uh, we also need to hire our Chroma Key Filter a little bit to not be so bad. Let's rock and roll. Good morning, Mr. Nice Guy, Cruise, and Atlas for the triple subscription. Thank you so much for supporting the channel furthermore. Okay, don't forget to curse, by the way. When again, this is the overworld content now, and we are only level 46, but we've already proven yesterday that as soon as you put in ancestral gear, things are going crazy. The only thing that we missed was a world boss. With a world boss, I would even have a higher level weapon. Speed run without uh, potion and incense, yes, Neil. So we're essentially like it's it's just about cho choosing an efficient level build, and it's not like level as fast as possible. So it's more like, you know, if the build is as efficient as I plan it to be, then 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 you can you can level faster by using the things you're looking for, if that makes sense. But, um, you know, you, you see essentially like, like, you know, see for a uh, little improvement potential. So that's where, that's where I'm going with right now. I just want to have a very efficient build running. And I think that is working out beyond belief. Uh, I was hoping for it to actually go this good and it's, it's going better than I anticipated. Just in terms of things we're able to do. I mean, at 35, the capstone dungeon just fell like nothing. And now we're trying to get 55 so I can so I can kick over the, the next capstone dungeon. And I think we, we should certainly be able to do it. But I am not 100% sure, obviously. If, if um, my plans with the second capstone dungeon are working out the way I want it to. And that's why we're testing it. I mean, I could, I could just tell you. So again, I could just make the video and tell you it's going to work. Trust. But I, I'd rather I'd rather try it out. Also, I'm wondering where's, where's all the coffins? Shouldn't there be like coffins left, right, and center? You know, I'd rather try it out. So smacks at the also howdy. Any death so far this run? Not not at any important junction. So where you think you could die? Uh, we did a nightmare dungeon just to see like how well a nightmare dungeon would go. Even though nightmare dungeons don't make sense before level fifty, because if you're not level fifty, you're actually not getting glyph XP. So you're doing nightmare dungeons for no reason but doing them. You know. And that's obviously, that's weird. Why would you do a Nightmare Dungeon for doing it? But yeah, it, it was it was obviously possible. And rather, rather easy at that too. Oh wow, Fire Enchanted and... Oh, wow. Does the game feel a little bit laggy to you too, Chan? Or is it just me? Topic back to dying, you know? The game feel a bit laggy for you? <laughs> You're all dead. You little sheets. I mean, it's softcore. 
That's why I also don't try these things in hardcore because simply I'm, I'm trying to make an optimized build. But uh, for, you know, if I was playing hardcore, I would take things vastly slower. I would not do the capstone dungeon with level 35 despite knowing it is easily possible and I won't die. I would still not do it because it's just what if, you know? No matter if I'm 100% sure, why would I even take the risk? You know, that's like that's like the whole point about um about hardcore. It's like why why would I even take a single risk in hardcore when taking a risk means I'm going to lose my I'm potentially going to lose my character. <laughs> Why, why would I try to do something crazy when, when the, when the flip side of the coin is maybe my character's dead, right? Makes no sense to then take any risks. Do I have to save adventurers or destroy vampiric structures? Wait, vampiric structures are often on the left side. Yeah, killing killing that killing that thingy will be we're just taking positive ages right come on keep keep giving me essence everyone involved thank you I want that essence for free. First reward, the pony edition. I like it's. It's just uh, when when there's when there's like you know, when the when the risk is like your your character dies forever, and the reward is you save ten minutes time, then then there is then there is no risk reward. There's only you're being an idiot, right? Don't don't get me wrong. But if these are the stakes, then I'd rather play, I'd rather play like, you know, softcore and do absolutely stupid things like, oh, should we do, should we do a tier 100 nightmare dungeon at level 85? Probably not. But what if we could, right? You should do a challenge. No, why would I do that? I mean, what you're what you're mentioning is not a challenge. That's just a guarantee for hating the game. You know, but imagine telling yourself you wanna you wanna get get a certain level by only using certain some things, and then and then you you know what you end up? You'll just end up hating the game. How would you do that to yourself? Main reason why I don't understand hardcore players, right? Why, why do you play games, the game in a way that might make you hate it? <laughs> they get absolutely demolished. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still surprised at how smooth this is going. Also, I'm very annoyed at how much damage he's actually doing. Stupid corpse bows. Did he just he's a multi-shot corpse bow, sure. <laughs> why wouldn't why wouldn't you be a multi-shot corpse bow, Chan? The newest hottest vibes on the around the corner. A mo a multi shot Holy crap. Also, War Daddy, good to see you there. You'll be doing well. Illusio, happy destroying. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying our best, sir. Thank you. And right now, we're just we're just seeing like we get another 14 minutes left to level as far and wide and center as we can. There was just a vampiric structure here a second ago. Did you just join my vampiric structure away? You did. 
You absolutely plunking plunker. You know, I'll just do this world of oh god, vampires. I was like, we'll just do this world event really quickly, and then, oh yeah, uh, blood, 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 blood dudes. You know, it would be great if you give me, like, a very high-level weapon. No complaints about that. Support out. A play hard is like addicted to gambling. Hmm, I feel like that. I'm currently uncertain on what is the best endgame necro build. I have flip flop between crappy bone spear, your shadow blight, which is what I'm running at the moment. There's also bloodlands and your amazing shadow wave build. I, honestly, I, I feel like the strongest right now, probably for Abattoir of Zir as well, is definitely. Um... Oh wow. That that hasn't happened in forever. Okay. That's my hardcore character. <laughs> Julian Bottlebo. Good morning to the 4.30 a.m. gang. The stream keeps buffering. I mean, like, it's it's weird that the stream keeps buffering for you because the stream is, for me, like, plenty fine. So I don't know why the stream is buffering on your end, my friend. No. Oh, could anyone quickly check the YouTube stream, guys? If something is if something is odd there. Problem is like checking your own stream sometimes can be can be complicated. But yeah, for for me it's just working. Don't, don't change anything there. Oh, my DJ was wrong. Well, we will, some, some people say it's stuttering for them, uh, but I think it has more to do with their with their end of the pipeline than with my end of the pipeline. Uh, it depends on what browser they are using, I think. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a simple browser thingy. I'm not sure what is actually causing it. Um, it might be also if you're viewing like for mobile phone or through any like third party weird device kind of thingy. Um, that could be causing these things. Okay, nothing, nothing better. Everything weird. VPN from Thailand to the USA. Blood search Nova goes twice. And this one was ranks field by days. Ranks. I mean, essence cost reduction. That actually sounds really good. That amulet sounds exactly like what I'm looking for, for now. Uh, again, like my, my main thing, what I do, my main leveling aspect, guys, take the Blood Surge Nova twice. Put it on the amulet. bibbidi bobbidi bobbidi boo Another level. So we're finally getting this one to level five. When I could try to get the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls, I guess, from, from, from our good old friend, right? What did you think is better? Bone Spear or Blood Surge for leveling? Definitely Blood Surge. There's no question. Um, Blood Surge, like, so Bone Spear is really good. Uh, but Bone Spear, again, needs to, like, kind of be shot in a direction, right? Where Blood Surge just, just walks into the room and, and everything dies. You know? Like, I, I just do this, and that's it. And then I then I just keep going, right? And it's just that that in the grand scheme of things, especially when you're doing dungeons and when you're just clearing packs of mobs, um, Blood Search is usually is is just a wee bit faster. But uh, both are fantastic, so so don't get me wrong. But if I would play Bone Spear, also keep in mind play um, Iron Maiden. Okay, do not fall for this mistake where you actually play. Decrepify early because again, Decrepify early makes like zero sense. What you want to have is you want to play. Well, that reminds me, I need to go uh, down. Yeah, uh, the, the the main thing is that you want to play Iron Maiden. 
Because Iron Maiden just allows you to level so much faster. Uh, no matter what, what build you're using. So if you're using Bone Blood or whatever. Uh, because it just allows you to continuously be full of essence, right? And you see you see these dudes, you know, just, just suck them dry, right? Just do here again, essence full, essence full. And then, and then you keep doing that, right? They, they, they exploded, essence full. And that, that works for a spear also. It's just, it's just way too good to just ignore the fact that you can do that. I need more vampiric structures. We okay, also got to look out that I'm not missing another Legion event because I did actually miss a Legion event already this morning. Now due to, due to being a little bit late. And we all know Legion events are the secret sauce. They're what you want. And right now the goal is to get to level 50 because then you're finally getting the paragon points and that, that that's like that's a that's a big difference like as soon as you actually start getting the paragon points the shit shit just gets it just gets real right sandy thank you for the 106 months ladies and gentlemen 106 months also gorilla thank you for the 51 centuries of support almost there brother almost there people being here for the one one or the other century at this point chan Good to, good to see that, that they don't relent. Well, we, we already made this build here updated um, on Mobilytics. It's actually in the latest YouTube video linked. So this is this is just Blood Search leveling build, by the way. I mean, we have an updated Blood Search already, like an endgame Blood Search. But this is the Blood Search leveling, essentially. Oh, wait, is this a Vampiric Structure? Oh, well, that's a siphon. I mean, a siphon in world tier three while I'm not even level 50. Oh, that's going to be. That's going to be greedy. The siphon do well, it continuously siphons life out of you, which is technically not a problem. I'm just not sure like how well we're going to do it in world tier three, because obviously now in this world tier, things are a little bit tougher. You know, left, right, and center. It's not all, like, so easy in Sunshine Philadelphia anymore. Especially when the, um... Bl blood, blood dudes start coming. Uh, I might have to... I might have to... To just walk out before I die. I mean, these are, these are just, like, a blessing in lower world tiers. But as soon as the blood seekers kind of start chunking out... Uh, that one hurts. I might just leave the... Oh, you, you're coming to kill the Bloodseeker for me? I was like, I, I might just leave this to not waste time here on the Bloodseeker, right? So we, we just we just quickly move on. I'm still hoping to get like a high item power weapon. Hmm. My, my, my weapons are decent item power. Just, just give me like a little bit more. Nothing special, right? Attacker 77 and look at the leveling one or the endgame one? Endgame one. Because with 77, you can uh, work towards the Litless Lens build as a, the, the Litless uh, Surge build. So there, there's essentially a Blood Surge build that uses a Litless Wall together with, uh, well, the, the way how Blood Surge works. And it's absolutely crazy how well it does. So that that is that is truly a uh, one of a kind build that I'm very proud that we created. Uh, because it turns out to be one of the most tankiest necro builds out there that at the same time is just doing incredible damages to left, right, and center. So very happy. And we can also slowly phase that in. There, like I'm missing... I need to kill one more blood... Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I need to kill one more blood seeker. And I need to also kill... I just try two more empiric structures. I need to slot the vampiric power kills equals to fortify. I'm not I'm not listening to my own advice, chat. So there's one vampiric power. Uh Zangwin Braze. I need to actually slot that extremely early. Why? Uh because it essentially just has you perma fortified, right? And and that that's like the thing with um the blood builds that they lack a source of fortify to be honest 
But now with with you like just Sangra and bracing around, you're gonna end up like permanently fortifying, which tremendously hires your damage. Oh, do you wanna summon this? Oh, hi. <laughs> did we did we just attract unduly attention for standing around, guys? Did the did the did the dudes get angry? Like we we just we just stood there and they were like, ah, oh, I mean, like you can't just be standing there, sir. This is a Wendy's. Okay, that means I just need to destroy another vampiric structure, Rooney. I love corpses, which is a vampiric structure, guys, because when you when when you're it seems like a horde of undan and a pile of corpses counts as a structure for your, for your vampiric shenanigans you're planning to do. I should not fight this. The worst thing to fight an oversized freaking uh, ballista that also has fire around it. Now due to now due to our Zangrin Brace Fortify shenanigans, that one oh I got feared. Working surprisingly well. Okay, teleport out again to the Tree of Whispers one more time, and then we're level 50 at 350. So we're gonna we need five we have 30 minutes for five more levels. I uh, level 75 Bone Spear. I tried Varshan yesterday. He was one-shotting you. Well, probably because you weren't looking for enough maximum life items or armor items. So your life and armor are both potentially trash, and that's why you died there. Uh, both things you need to work on. Listen. Both things you need to work on. No excuses. Remember, the trash values go around. Sacrifice bonuses are increased. It doesn't hurt. I remember you playing Hearthstone back in the days. 2014, 15, 16, and a little bit of 17 as well. Yes. It's been a while, Crocodile, but we did play Hearthstone very much back in the days. Okay, now that we have that done, there is the idea of, like, sticking to the Blood Harvest. I'm checking there's a Legion event. Uh, six minutes. Uh, pfft, what can I do in six minutes while I'm waiting for that? I mean, you could just kill random things around, correct? I'm gonna be wasting six minutes by just doing nothing. going to be just nuking things left, right, and center, I guess, right? And like just just randomly going around and killing things feel, feels heavily inefficient. Might as well just look for normal um normal zone events, huh? Like the advantage about blood harvest that the enemy density on a blood harvest is just so incredibly high. That's just so much fun to hang out in, right? Whereas here in the normal world now, you're you're looking for things, but it's just like enemy density feeling atrocious. I'm not sure if that is what I want to do. This event here. More that that the amount of enemies are spawning are like not not worth it, and it's taking me like a while to to reasonably burst through this event. Okay, I was surprised about that damage output there. Oh, <laughs> you got eaten. I pull them all together, curse them all to get like one, two. 
Okay, we need more fortify. <laughs> we actually beat the event. Interesting. Now we just got to make sure that this snake doesn't kill us, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good. This is how you get this is how you get your minutes quickly through, huh? Blood, blood harvest leveling is so much fun. Yes. Also, we made it to level 50. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 50 in four hours. It's it's okay. Like for not using potions or anything. I kind of like it. So the best part about the level is uh the amount of power you just get, right? Mm. It's going like you get you get 220% damage, you get like the all the armor, everything plus. It's it's quite it's quite significant if we're honest with each other, what you're actually getting. Uh for every well five willpower you need something with intelligence close by. For every five willpower purchased, you get overpower damage. Just intelligence because you you're just having intelligence going on. No, there there's like two two there's there's like one intelligence in the range. Mr. Voldemort, Lord Voldemort, thank you for the 21 centuries of support. Welcome everyone to Still Diablo. I'm happy you're still enjoying it, Chad. But don't worry, we got a second game plan for today, and that is going to be Age of Sigmar. So we have a we have a Warhammer content coming your way, and I'm hopefully you're excited for that because I'm I'm a big Warhammer fan, and I haven't played strategy games in a while, so that's gonna be cool. Also, greetings to the YouTube. Could you do an update on Blood Search Summoner with the new uniques? Nope. Uh, Blood Search <laughs> Blood Search Summoner is sadly failed as an endgame concept. I mean, it, it works to a certain um. It works to a certain nightmare dungeon level and then sadly at that point it's like you can get it to work on a tier 100 uh against lilith it will always be very slow going so you can beat lilith with it but the reality is that these things are cans but these cans are slow and tedious and so heavily item dependent that it just borders onto the boring so yes, Blood Search Summoner is is definitely working, but it's just kind of like, yeah, it, it gets more and more tedious the longer you play it. That's just no fun. Right? I can't get the littles to drop. I am very sorry for that, my friend. I want to say I'm alone at the Legion event, and I don't appreciate it, Chan. Hello. By the way, Trick, get get on the horse next to the fire, and it usually fills this up right away. Fourteen percent bonus XP I'll take in. Want to for three uh, zombie content when never? Thanks for asking. I'm very happy not not engaging with that kind of content currently, especially as I have like no no plans to to kind of create any guides around it. So we'll probably we'll probably after like like after so much Diablo, we're probably gonna do like my my next project is another Elden Ring Platinum speed run probably because I want to get the Elden Ring Platinum trophy a second time because I lost all my recordings for that. Um. Therefore, I want to kind of do that. Good morning, Jay Walker. Also, pleasure to see you there. I'm not ready yet. No lecture for XP. No, uh, intentionally. It's making it's making it a bit slower process, but we're just trying to use the optimal leveling build, if that makes sense. So the the plan here right now is to level as quick as 
possible while not hating ourselves. Ergo, you, we could do the Domheim Tunnel to just speed level. You know, so as quick as possible while not hating ourselves with the method giving to us. Uh, you know, with the with the XP we have here and all of that kind of stuff. And just see how, how efficient is the build at that. You know, is this is this better than Bone Spear for leveling? Is Bone Spear better for leveling? Uh, and currently, I, I am very happy with the results on, on just mere speed we're putting down on, on the challenges we're beating. Uh, the, ne the next interesting challenge is going to be Elias to see if we can kill him at level... At level 55. So we need to do five more levels in the next 30 minutes. I'm not entirely sure how that is going to be a thing. I mean, like, with a combination of Legion events and everything, but like, sa sadly... Sadly, as soon as you hit 50, the, the speed of Legion events gets so much slower, right? Man, it was, before it was so nice, you would fill up level after level after level, and now it's kind of like, ooh. Any chance apart from avoiding him and going around pillars, there's no real technique that's been properly developed amongst the community. Any suggestions? Uh, Butcher just dies against the Litless Wall Xfeld build. I, I don't know if you have tried out the Litless Wall Xfeld build, but I literally just face tanked the Butcher and destroyed him on a tier 100 dungeon. I might, I might actually have to make a YouTube video about that, um, like, like a face tanking the Butcher. Uh, it was it was brilliant. I mean, it took me a while to kill him. Don't get me wrong, but there was also no never a, a moment where he could have killed me, which is kind of funny. So that's where Litless Wall just worked absolutely insane to essentially kill the butcher. My XP feels so slow up here. But it's still worth it. So yeah, that's that's uh, where you get, get him. I mean, end of the day, Butcher is meant to kill Rich. And Necro is just bad against the Butcher. So you have a class that's bad against the Butcher. You have the Butcher that's meant to kill. Uh, like, it's not your fault you're dying to the Butcher. It's not your fault that the Butcher is taking quite a while. Uh, it's just simply a, a thing of, like, the Butcher is intended to be that way. And if you meet him at a too high tier without having like absolutely S tier equipment, it might just be an absolute sadness, right? The right tunnel is decent and fast XP, yeah. The right tunnel is also incredibly boring. Man, I, I I don't know why why people keep recommending that, but don't you actually like to play the game? <laughs> you know, did, did I miss that part where where you play the game? You know, where you do the things intended in the game instead of running Domheim tunnels 400 times over. Maybe I'm old and soft, chant. Maybe I'm old and soft. Five level in thirty minutes, yeah, but five level in thirty minutes with with a conventional method, you know. So it's more like I need five levels in thirty minutes with the things I'm doing here, the way the way I'm I'm playing it, the way I'm I'm like attempting to to get the level. Should be should be more precise potentially. Dean, Swifty's Arcade Hall project. Haven't actually followed anything from Swifty at this point, Overflow. I mean, there was like during the during the Me Too movement with some some intriguing things in his direction. So, you know. Ah, I don't want to die today. I'm just here to lead XP. Don't kill me, please. Thank you very much. That's the worst part about leeching XP if you actually die, you know? Don't die. Come on, boys. You can do it. I need more. Uh, I need a little bit more damage. I 
Well, we're not here to take ages. We're here to steal steal your wives. They okay, one legion event in the bank. I mean, we could we could kill the boss, but I guess that would take ages at this point. Oh, did the blood harvest already swap? <gasps> the blood harvest already swatched. So, is it worth it doing hell tides and opening hell tide chests for experience? By the way. Like, if you just go in there to collect Cinder and just open the 75 chests. I, I know I know they give millions of experience. Factually, like, like they, 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 the chests, they, they give, like, quite some, some humongous amounts of XP. I'm I just not sure if it's worth it, like, like spending your time essentially going for the chest just to get that XP boost. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like handing it, like, like handing in a whisper, right? That also gives you an XP boost. Um... I didn't actually ever check, like, how much is it for a chest and if it truly does do good. I need more time. Do you never dungeon blood harvest is faster? Hmm... Well, the, the thing is, Blood Harvest feels worth it until you have the Whispers done. As soon as you have the Whispers done that are actually available in the Harvest, it's always like, you know, sure, the Harvest is still good experience, but you might you might want to, you know, move on to a second activity that, that gives you bonus XP for doing it. And that's usually where, where then Helltide would come in. Well, that is uh, destroy vampire structures. Okay, let's go all the way down. Running for hell ties is too much. I mean, no, no one likes to wait for hell ties. Wait, that's two blood seekers. Oh, I guess. We weird ass mage blood seeker. You're dead. Okay, everyone done. Thank you very much. Next next point already. Next level point already created. And let me go down to clear the vampiric structures. Next paragon point is going upwards. Come here, come here, wherever you are. Thank you very much. I just I just love blood builds. How can you how can you not be in deep love with blood builds, Chan? Come on now. Just coming and exploding everything. This is also why Paragon points are so big, right? Because Paragon points instantly give you like like a bonus life and everything that that just inherently boosts like the power of what blood can do, right? Okay, we get that too. Forsaken Coast, and now we just need to kill the last vampires. Um, the last ghouls, actually. This is this a new ultimate blood search build or just speed leveling build? Speed leveling build? Uh, we ha already have the ultimate blood search build. But if, if, you have, if you haven't seen it on the channel yet, we already have the ultimate blood search build. I am not sure if you can make it better. Well, that's not true, actually. We haven't experimented with blood search and... Oh, yeah, that's good. We haven't experimented with Blood Search and the Sacrilegious Ring yet. You're right. I haven't done that yet. So we still need to do that. Even though <sighs> Blood Search and the Sacrilegious Ring just really don't go hand in hand. Okay. For 75 Cinders, you get 3,000 XP. For 100, you get 4. And 250, you get 3. But isn't... it? Don't, don't you get like... Oh, shit. That was a lot of... Uh, that's a lot of um, poison explosion. Don't you get for maybe I'm wrong, but don't don't you get for a bunch of I need more time. 
Come on, Brain Saiyan. You get like a million XP for opening a living steel chest. No. You could drop Rasmus Thales. No, no, it's not what you drop. It's that the build doesn't profit from it. Like you would have to drop a skill to make corpse explosion work in the in the blood surge build. And that skill that you would have to drop is your auto attack. So you wouldn't have a single auto attack anymore to replenish essence. And you would have to rely on your corpse explosion to replenish enough essence. And I'm truly not sure if that is an option in the blood surge build. I mean, like it's, it's a fantastic, you know, I love the blood surge build. But I'm not sure if if like uh, freaking freaking uh, corpse explosion then is is enough to essentially overtake the essence production scheme. Um. Sir, I am just trying to teleport away here. Could you could you please not stop me from teleporting away? I really, I really need to leave. They got Bone Spirit build, couple of good Bone Spirit builds, to be honest. Uh, there is some really interesting ones, especially with the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls. Uh, I haven't made the new one yet. I made one before. We even have a life on one of the YouTube streams. But yeah, uh, still, still. Okay, Chest of Chaos. No, no, well, nothing, nothing like interesting at this point. I just need like very, very high level, very high level blood shenanigans. Okay, we got. See now, now that we have this done, the thought would be I could go in a hell tide, but I'm not sure how how efficient I can do hell tide because hell tide is like a bigger, higher level than me. My wife is writing me messages. Let's see what she wants. Maybe she got food. Maybe she got food. Aber Tankstelle hat Öl. Warum brauchen wir Öl? Oder braucht Oma Öl? Nein. Okay, sorry. Wife were asking me questions at work that I do not know the exact answer to. It's like, what what kind of motor oil does our car have? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, not right now. Do we have motor oil in the garage? I don't know. I'm not in the garage. I'm here in front of my PC. Maybe. But maybe, maybe it's never the answer they want. I want a yes or a no. Okay, how much how much XP would would like a uh, living steel chest net you? I know in world tier four, like a living steel chest is a million XP, but I don't know what it is like in world tier three. I mean, like at, at this tempo, I'd say I, I can I can reasonably farm a living steel chest, right? And especially with the with the time it takes, but also with the monsters you kill. Should be worth it, right? What's the most uh, W30? Yeah, we should have W30, but I'm not sure. Granny needs oil. Can you kill the living steel chest boss though? That is not important. I just have someone kill him for me, right? 
The question is not, can I kill him? Can someone else kill him for me? You know? Diablo has a very strong community. Yeah, I mean, yep. Yeah, there, there's, there's people that love Diablo uh, in and out, and they play nothing else but Diablo. Uh, but I think also that Diablo 4 is one of these Diablos that has people that... Diablo 4 is like Hearthstone. Hearthstone back in the days had so many people that had never played a card game before. And they were like, you know what? I should like this. This seems to be the new hype. I should try out this Hearthstone thingy, right? And I think the same thing we have with Diablo 4 right now. I think a lot of people always heard about Diablo, Diablo 3, Diablo 2, Diablo whatsoever, right? Yeah, Diablo. My, my friends in high school have always played it. I never touched it. And that's what we have right now. We have a bunch of gamers that have never played an ARPG before and that finally tried out an ARPG due to peer pressure, uh, like just finally wanting to jump on the train or whatsoever. This is also why you have a lot of people that complain about seasonal mechanics because they literally have never played a season in an ARPG. And they're like, oh man, seasonal mechanics are so bad. I want to just play the Eternal Realm and season is shit. I don't like it, which is okay. Like you might not like seasons, right? But, but it's just really that, um, yeah, well, I think we have a lot of people that never played a Diablo before. Grouping up would give you more XP. Yes, grouping up would give you more XP, but that wouldn't make my build more efficient. So the question rather is like, if I'm not grouping up, if I'm not using elixirs, if I'm not doing any of these things, how fast can I still level, which is fast, um, And if, if you would then take this build together with a friend, right? If you then take this build and you level with using elixirs, like how fast could you then go, right? So if I'm doing it, quotation mark, inefficient, but still, still efficient with a good build, if you're then actually pumping out all the good things, right? Like you can shave up so much time even from, from that. Also, by the way, we have to go for that Legion event in the Helltide. That's insane. Nothing cooler than a Helltide Legion event. You've seen the Panda Dot build that crits for 75 million. The Panda Dot build is just a litless storm build that focuses on crit, and that's it. But it, it has a fine, fancy name with Panda Dot, to be honest. I mean, our, our Littlest Wall build does the same, with the difference that we are just too lazy to gather the equipment. <laughs> you know? Do you play less Epoch on release? I mean, if it ever releases, when it ever releases, I'll probably check it out. You know? I mean, I, I generally, like, you, you might not know this, but I'm a, I'm a very big variety gamer. I play a variety of games. I check out tons of new releases. I, I mean, I play every Souls-like game in existence, obviously, because I'm a big Souls-like nerd. But gen generally, like, we're, we're essentially, like, left, right, and center. Uh, we're we're trying out trying out everything. So if Last Epoch ever releases and gets some hype on Twitch, uh, I might check it out. Because reality is, if, like, I mean, Last Epoch is right now dead on Twitch, right? No, no one and their mom actually plays it. No one and their mom actually watches it. <laughs> you know? So if, if no one is watching it, I can't stream it. Because surprisingly or unsurprisingly, that's that's how I make my money, right? By people watching my streams. Who, who would have guessed? No one is watching said streams, then we're not we're not making money. Yeah. Uh, they released February 24th. February 24th is going to be a good time because that's when, like, the, like, Diablo, Diablo 3, Season 3 is going to come out in January. Uh, final weeks of January. That's when that's going to come out. And then we're essentially just going to be waiting for, I'm going to do that event in a second. Uh, then we're just going to be, you know, seeing how long that season actually lasts. Because, again, this, this time there is the gauntlet, right? Which is plenty cool. So this, this time, actually in Season 3, I might finally rush to level 100. I usually never rush to level 100. But since the gauntlet is out, then I will want to make content around the gauntlet. Um, 
there's going to be me probably having to fast track some levels in, you know, chugging some monsters, telling the wife to to take the children out for for a trip to to a hotel and and not bother me for for 3 days. So I can make as much content as possible. Team no sleep gang. The timer for, by the way, the timer is uh, since we started leveling. So we've gotten in four hours and 20 minutes now to level 51. And we right now want to check, uh, like, like the goal was to be level 55 at 430. Uh, might be that we are taking five hours for world tier four. Okay. So, I mean, the goal is obviously world tier four, right? I want to reach world tier four as fast as possible. Um... Might be a bit slower than I was hoping for. Without using potions and stuff. But still, still like reasonably fast, especially with the build we're playing. Okay, these guys are really annoying to beat. Oh wow, you just died. You just, you just got torn in half by that. But I love my overpower. Legion Helltide. Yep, Legion Helltide is the best thing that can happen to you ever. I'm not ready yet. It's another two minutes until it starts. So we'll, we'll literally kill every single unit that is around here. Because everything is experience, right? So why would you not try to get the maximum amount of bonus experience from, from all these little shitters here? Now, if, if they're if they're around here, if they're ready to get killed, we might as well use them. Come on, pull them together. One, two. You're all dead. Thank you very much. Wasn't here like a... Yep. No, no, that was a chest. I kind of want to open the chest, but also at the same time, I don't want to open the chest. Right? Doop, doop, doo, doo, doo. Bonus XP. I only played season one for two weeks, then basically walked away until season two. This season has been great. I mean, that's what it is. This is the reality about Diablo, I think, that, or seasons in general, that there might be a season you do not like at all. You know? So it might be that like for, for six months or so, you're not playing the game and then you finally start playing the game again. Oh God, what am I supposed to do now? Just started to play D4 and started with Necro and I'm now 50, but bosses are still pain in the ass and slow. Any tips? What 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 build are you playing? Blood Surge. I mean, like you're you're actually never fighting any bosses. That's that's like the thing. Like what what bosses are you fighting? So right now, uh, like that's the thing about the leveling process. I, I like you, you, you should never be at the point where you actually fight any bosses. Like there's no reason to do nightmare dungeons. Nightmare dungeons are horrible XP at this point. Uh, the overworld is just better XP and you're just getting faster through it. Like, you know, so, so you're essentially just, you're just making it harder for yourself when you, when you try to do dungeons left, right and center. Uh, the reality with Blood Surge is that, yes, uh, with, with level 50, if you're on World Tier 3 especially, uh, that bosses will just will just feel like they're taking a wee bit. Um, that's just because it's like Blood Surge, right? But you're also not going anywhere where you have to kill bosses. That's a, 
That's also something to keep in mind. Like, don't go anywhere where you actually kill bosses. When I'm doing Helltides, I'm doing Legion events, I'm doing Blood Harvest. I don't actually ever do a dungeon until I am level 60. And when you're level 60, uh, you get your ancestral gear and 925 weapon, and then bosses will just feel easier than ever. My blood search needs a little bit of help with the essence production, and that's where the um, that's where a ring of the umbral would come in really handy, which you probably don't have, uh, or a ring of starless uh, like like or or a starlight aspect. Um, which you also don't have. And that's where, that's where, you know, you just literally. Get it, get it, get it all to me. That's where you're going to be, um, yeah, then destroying bosses simply because you also have more Paragon points. Because right now I'm level 51, right? And if I'm level 60, I'm going to get 9 times 4 more Paragon points. 9 times 4 is... 9 times 4 is Chan. Good. So the amount of Paragon points allows you to get a huge, bigger amount of overpower. And with that bigger amount of overpower, you just, you just scale, you know? you just say 34? Now we need to find. So yeah. Um, and that, it really comes down to then, then when you have your Paragon points and when you have your Paragon nodes that the build just that the build just obliterates because you're you're suddenly getting like the 35 percent increased overpower damage on all your overpowers. So you're going to reach a threshold of overpower bonus where where like with level 60, you suddenly do like 100, 200k overpowers and so on. Um, where where then when you're actually fighting bosses, you're you're just taking the shortcut of just doing so much overpower damage that that despite you know having clunky essence, uh, it doesn't matter because you're just like boom, 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 overwhelming. Right. So, uh, Ouroboros, is Blood Boil still worth it? Yes. No brainer. I mean, every 20 seconds getting a free overpower is free damage. Uh, every overpower giving you giving you orbs that explode when you go through them is also no brainer. It's just free damage that you're getting for free. And there's like no alternative that makes you vastly stronger than the free damage you're essentially getting. So, so yeah, uh, free damage. What do you think is the currently the necro with the lowest gear requirement that can easily build a Lilith? Uh blood 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 lands? I'm not ready. And when we're talking about like doesn't need crazy amount of uniques and everything. I mean Shadow 2, but like with Shadow you're just gonna have a clunky try. Whereas with Bloodlands and reasonable good gear, and then you go for the machine gun Bloodlands build that really just focuses on getting like the blood orbs out and everything. Uh, and you're just gonna like just literally machine gunning Lilith down, like overwhelming her with the full power of your your blood shenanigans. Uh, yeah, for sure, fantastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got three o two. I I shit, I gotta look out that I don't die. Uh, so we 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 got three o two um chest points, and I wanted to see how much experience was a living steel chest gonna give you. How much experience is a living steel chest going to give you at this, at this, uh, this level? Everyone Dan? Oh, 
our first elixir, Chad. Oh, no, 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 wait. Need to kill him. Okay, living steel chest. It's supposed to be all the way up here. <laughs> question is not how much how much does the living steel chest give us, guys? The question again is can we kill the guy on the living steel chest? Maybe? <laughs> getting tricky ah no ah no please don't eat me i'm innocent By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the embargo lifted and the PAX Day Alpha is live. In case you're interested in a new Unreal 5 engine MMO. And I will actually have a YouTube video for that coming tonight. And I also will have uh, streams coming with PAX Day. Because uh, it's really brilliant looking MMO and I kind of want to dive more into the crafting and everything. And I'll just have to see if I can get some some of our community members some keys so we can actually build a village together. That'd be that'd be absolutely cool. We could build a village in that game together. Oh shit! I thought we were we're almost done here with this wave, but yeah. So that that's uh that's what's coming. We pray that the living steel chest guy is dead. I mean, I could technically kite the living steel chest guy away just to try to get the living steel chest. Oh, there, there, there's the living steel chest guy, little brother. Or big brother. Or little, little, little cousin. I don't know if there's... A, I don't know if demons are actually related in any way. Sister, brothers, mom, uncle, thingy. I need more time. Do you think there's there's relationships in the demon in the demon realms? I thought they all just hate each other. You know, it's just there's like no. I mean, like, sure, like I mean, Mephisto is the father of uh, Mephisto is the father of Lilith. Sure, you're right about that. Yes, the dude is crazy, guys. He's, he's like, he's lightning, and then he's a little bit more lightning, and then there's a little bit more lightning, right? Oh, I can't kill him. There's no world where we can kill this. We need to wait for someone to come along to kill him for us? No, it can't be. Come on, we, we have to be, to be stubborn. The problem is I just got to look out that I don't die accidentally. Right? That would be even more horrible. I mean, this is actually a good XP farm, though, if you think about it. Because he just he just keeps summoning, like, demons around him. Right? And we're, we just keep killing demons around him as well. Like, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chat. We got this. We got this. I'm not sure if this is getting more and more dangerous over time or if it's just me, like, you know, being more risky. I need more time. Oh, shit. That almost exploded me. Uh, this is good, I think. We're going in. We're cursing. I'm not ready yet. 
Yes. Do it. On range. Yes. Done. Now let's do let's not get torched by a bell rock. Okay, how how much XP is this, chat? How much XP is this? Let's go. Oh, it wasn't even more. 407,000? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Like, to have or not to have? Right? I mean, like, c considering a normal chest, what do you say a normal chest gives, gives like, 30k? I mean, that, that's, that's a decent amount of experience for just opening one chest, right? Especially like you get a, you get to consider, right? It's, it's that 400k plus the experience you get for actually getting there. So right, right. It's, it's not only that experience. It's, it's also the XP for, for actually getting to that point where you then get the XP. Almost nuked me. And that was that was a that was a nice and cheesy event. Wow. Couldn't still say if it was really worth it to do it. Okay, not better, not better. Like again, I'm not really looking for what these items do. I just look if they have like a see this has a higher item level than my item. So that that's fantastic for me. Just just like mere Mere item level hogging. Oh, this is two rings and blood surge. That's kind of cool. Do like in. That's um. Uh... Better off just opening seventy five chests. Yeah, but we like what? what how much experience did a seventy five chest give now? And if that is four hundred k, uh, let, let's let's find a seventy five chest. Seventy five chest. Uh, there. Would we give it a protection? I mean, three three hundred is essentially. Okay, what, what do you get to offer? That is one hundred thirty-five k. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, how about we just we just get a bloodless scream, huh? Randomly. Yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit better to be honest. I'm surprised. I, need more time. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to get that much XP out of out of a low chest. So so opening the low chest definitely worth it. I mean, considering how quick you can get that, it's definitely. Also, you get to consider how how lesser risk that is, right? Because uh, turning in a seventy-five chest is essentially like I I just I just uh, have to get seventy-five cinders and then I can turn it in already instead of just running around with three hundred, right? Okay, so seventy-five is the better option. It still surprises me. I didn't expect it to give that much XP. Which is still like a very nice fast track here currently. I mean, this is by the way why why I I say blood surge is just such a such a powerful build, because yes, sure, again, bloodlands can also a uh, bo bo bone spear can like launch it in there, but I just I just walk in the middle and and just press the magic button, right? I mean, just walk in the middle. Press the magic button, everything died. Also, by the way, chat, if you did bring your Prime Gaming subs, don't forget to use it somewhere on Twitch right now here. Thank you very much. And good to see so many people still enjoying Diablo. I didn't expect like that many viewers, actually. Like, I mean, on, on, on YouTube, like the amount of viewers does not, does not have Twitch drops. The viewers on YouTube, they're just here for interesting videos, right? They're just here to have fun. 
Whereas on Twitch, like there, there's often that bonus incentive, you know, where's, where's the Twitch drops app mate? In case you missed it, ladies and gentlemen, the, the Twitch drops are over. In case, if you missed the, to get the Auric Helcom cool weapon skins, then, then you're out. I, I didn't get a single one, FYI. Uh, because I completely always forget to watch streams myself. I've been <laughs> busy streaming. Season 2 is great. Season 2 is great, yes. But there's still not much to watch, if we're honest with each other. Because you're just watching me do a hell time. I mean, obviously, we're, we're trying to, like, try out... We're, we're trying out a level build. So, that's that's interesting on the side, probably. Bon bonus interesting. Um, but but still, though, there, there's, like, nothing to, like, really watch for. Like, I'm, I'm not not doing any crazy, like, endgame content. I'm I'm not, you know, trying to achieve something in that regard. Whereas, uh, with the Abattoir of Zier, that's going to change, though. So, I'm, I'm really excited for that. That we're then going to get... Finally, endgame content for the first time ever in Diablo. Actual tier 100 plus, you know, endgame content. And it's going to be worth to min-max for some things. So I will actually, like, a few days before that releases, I will start an Abattoir of Zir farm, where I'm then going to try to actively improve my equipment for the Abattoir of Zir. Struggles on tier 100 and Lilith. I mean, struggles on tier 100 and Lilith are, are just down to equipment at this point. I mean, if you if you take the right build, you'll just get it done. I mean, like with a with a Tempest Necro, for example, or even with Infinity Mist, there there's there's like no no way you're not gonna clear tier 100 at some point. Uh, and if you obviously don't have Tempest yet, you'll get there. Uh, we get some info steal bug with a disappearing chest. Yep. I mean, we'll finally be able to, to not have the chest disappear in front of our eyes and return. So that's cool. But that doesn't solve the, like, so, so getting the living steel chest fixed is nice, correct? But it doesn't ch solve the inherent problem of the living steel chest that they're like the only way for living steel. So, I mean, the problem is not only that living steel chests are, are bugged and, and they might just disappear and not, not reappear. But the problem is also that, yeah, living steel chests are the only source of living steel, and that's bullshit. Because we essentially need more sources of living steel. Helltide should just be permanent. Exactly. I, I, I do agree. I mean, Helltide's being permanent will obviously not happen this season because you just have the Blood Harvest be permanent. So if you now make the Helltides permanent, that would kind of be like double trouble, right? How much overpower are we at, by the way? Still only at 235%. That's also why Paragon Points make such a difference, right? With the with the Paragon Points I'm aiming for, I'm going to be able to push this now to 300 plus. Like, like just with a couple of Paragon Points taken. And not, not even equipment. And then your overpower damage is also going to be like, you know, it's going to be pushed to 300 plus. And then, and then your next push is plus 35% damage on all your overpowers. Which is also an immense push. Okay, we're, what, 442. Hmm. Expecting to be a bit faster. Play monsters around the jar. Jar heads. <laughs> I know. Rara's 2,700. That's cute. 2,700. Come on, brother. Rookie numbers. 3,800 3, is where it's at. That level, to be honest, can only be achieved by Necro. Uh, simply because we, we have a cheat code ability, right? <laughs> we have a cheat code ability that multiplies our uh, overpower damage um, for sacrificing the minions. Like no, no other build that can actually reach that level of overpower percentage, I think. Which oh, doesn't make Necro do 400 billion damage. They're still down to Barbarian, right? But I, I do, I do truly want to have Grandfather just to see how high I can make Bloodlands crit. Because this is something I haven't like gotten to yet, right? I, I can get get Bloodlands really, really high in general, but I'm, I'm missing the, the actual chance to make it like go bonkers, super crazy. My bags are full. 
Should probably teleport out instead of keep killing things, right? And then hand, hand more more chests in. Okay. Teleport out quickly. What do you focus on your aspects on leveling pass? I have one single aspect, and that is the uh, blood surge aspect that goes bop bop. And that's the only aspect I'm essentially using for leveling. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, it's the one aspect life that matters. You don't need more. Also, it's, it's about time to actually look for max life. You know, at this point, I still haven't looked at max life in any way. I just mainly look at armor and everything. But now that you're picking up... Oh, wow, that, that is so much more damage. And we're finally getting to the point where we could also get max life items. Decent max life items. Might be, might be worth it to finally at least have an eye out for it. What's, a, what's an average Bloodlands overpower crit? I can't even tell you that because I've been so long out of the equation with the normal crits because I have the Banished Lord's Talisman. The Banished Lord's Talisman obviously blows everything out of proportion, Urboros. So, yeah. It would be great to have more PvP content. What for? PvP is so unbalanced. It makes no sense. I know I know you're asking for it, but I mean, this it's an ARPG. ARPGs are not made for PvP. PvP is always an afterthought in ARPGs, and PvP will never be a main theme of ARPGs because it's inherently flawed. Again, it's it's also like, like how, how are you going to... How are you going to balance PvP? I mean, I'm, I'm a Necro. I have no defensive ability. Then there is a mage who has uh, like like three to four abilities to just save them from save death. Uh, then there's Rogue, which can like fly over your screen uh, with with like a couple of skills to just dash around, right? Then there's Barbarian, which which can do like their shouts and everything and blah. And and yeah, then there's Necro who can who can not run away, who can like, you know, my, my one defensive skill, Bone Prison, doesn't work against mobs. It doesn't work against players. Surprise. So PvP isn't inherently like, you know, there, there's no balance there in any way. No no fairness or whatsoever. It just makes no sense to look for that in... in um... Black Desert Online had great PvP. Is Black Desert Online an ARPG? I mean, you know, like, you know, you, you, what, you know what an ARPG is, right? Black Desert Online 1. Maybe I missed that where, where Black Desert Online is actually an ARPG and not an MMORPG. I played Black Desert and it's in no way comparable to, to Diablo in that regard, right? And the way how PvP is going on here. But Black Desert is fun. I'm not going to say no to that. But yeah, I, I don't see any PvP content coming in any way ever to this game. I mean, PvP is like merely when you get the PvP zone and that's it. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, would I would I mind any kind of battleground where you could go to PvP others uh, for for I don't know some elusive PvP ranks? No, I wouldn't mind. I just don't expect them to put anything out like that soon. The, the biggest problem with PvP and ARPGs is that the fewest people play it. You know, it's pro probably not even like 2% of the player base, which is actually like actively engaging in PvP. So you can't even make a PvP season. You know what I mean? Like you, you get the you get the smallest part of your community, which actually does engage in PvP. And then you like... You, could you like even do a PvP season, for example? Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. You know, again, I'm I'm always happy to be proven wrong with the things I say. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Maybe I'm just a hater. You know, and I'm completely wrong with what I'm saying. It's going to be interesting how, how easy or not easy we're going to be able to kill the the boss who's coming out of this because there there is a quite quite a tough opponent spawning out of this one. I 
Please kill him. Thank you. Oh, it's it's the blood it's the blood baron. Oh look look how much damage he takes. Wow. Did we just did we just take his life away? Something is still bugged about him. I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it back because he, he just feels so weird in his um in his life. Right? Like it, why 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 do all the Helltide commanders have like a gazillion life, but he doesn't? Seems like ca capture the flag and, and so on. Yeah, but but how would capture the flag work if you can't essentially stop people, right? <laughs> I mean, imagine imagine you play something like capture the flag and then and then the necro uses his his bone prison ability to stop you and oh no, it actually doesn't stop you because it's useless against players. They just dash out of it. So, oh god. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> necro pain. <laughs> Oh. oh there's the Helltide assassin I don't I don't want to fight him that's for sure We can P my P. Mm. Thank you. No, thank you. I have to say this, this level experience now in the Helltide has been extremely smooth. Like I, I'm, I'm rather surprised at how, how much XP I picked up here and how, how good it has been. I mean, not, not surprised that my build is working, right? More just still how, how smooth sailing it has been. how much xp you can actually get from that i could i could get one more chest right and there there's another chest of protection let's get let's get that one i like that that almost that 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 allows us to reach our goal almost i mean we're, we have nine minutes left to to get to level 55 because i wanted like again the goal was five hours to world tier four i'm not ready yet <sighs> I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll roughly get there right Question rather is can I can I beat the capstone dungeon guys? What do, what do you think? I'm not ready can I can I beat the capstone dungeon? Because as I try to beat the capstone dungeon with minions at level 55 and a blood surge build, uh it didn't work immediately because I didn't have um my gear min maxed at all, you know? So I, I had the minions, I didn't have any minion life items, I didn't have any max life items for myself, right? So it was absolutely like a tedious fiesta to even remotely fight uh, Elias there. He would just one hit me with his skills and you're just like, well, whatever. You gotta th see how that works with, you know, here. Early to see you live. Why are you awake, Mac Dog? Well, we've we've already beaten the capstone with 55, so that's not the issue. The question is rather like how much, how much, how much, how deep do we have to dig for that? And I might might be able to just uh, dodge Elias one shots and then just make sure to to kill him with overpower. Okay, that was the hell tide. Uh, there is still this one going on for another nine minutes. I guess we could quickly run to kill the PvP boss. Should work out, right? Uh, if it's some kind of structure, battleground, arena type of thing, could be actually mechanics in the game itself. Bombs, for example, that can stun and shield the barium. I just don't see them putting any, again, effort into that. Like, yeah. I mean, they have, they, they're data backed, right? 
if if Diablo is anything, it is data backed. Like they they have the data to know what kind of content their players are playing, and I I cannot see the the, the data saying, hey, we should focus on PvP. MacDog, thank you very much for your five dollar donation, ladies and gentlemen. That's a five dollar donation, Mr. MacDog, on the YouTube. Appreciate it, my friend. Very much, but but still wondering why you're awake at that time of the day. You now, what's the what's the 2:45 a.m. gang doing on a Tuesday? Well, well, maybe you just came back from work. Who knows? Maybe you just got down with a hardcore gaming session. Uh, PVP zone also. My favorite my favorite leveling spot PVP zone due to the mob density. Just amazing how many how many monsters are in the PVP zone, right? Okay, let's see how tedious the boss is with level 53. Remember, we're, we're getting finally out of the under level part, so that that has me happy, right? I mean, like we you, we started this with level 35. So now with 53, we're kind of like at the point where we actually should kill him. This is where you're saying you're feeling a bit clunky against bosses, right? And yes, yes. You're going to you're going to take a while to kill him, but it's not going to be to the point where you're ever in danger of dying if that makes sense, right? So, sure. It's going to be like, you know, 2 3 seconds, but you're trying to just get rid of him. You know, for for the for the for the tree of whispers thingy. I mean, then at level 55, you know, <laughs> now level 55, Sorcerer comes along and it's like, well, look at me, look at me. Oh, oh, oh. You're like, okay, 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 okay. What level can you incorporate at special gear 60? That's why I'm also trying to beat the capstone dungeon at 55. Because if you beat the capstone dungeon at 55, uh, you're going to be like 56, 57 when you actually beat it. Uh, then you're going to go to world tier four and you're going to do one, two legion events, one, two world bosses, and you essentially have absolute end game gear already. As you then reach level 60, you're just going to be able to completely overwhelm tier 21 nightmare dungeons. Cause that's the funny part. Like with 60 world tier four tier 21 nightmare dungeons are just like, boom. Uh, let's see. Does it have... Oh, that's a 720 item. I was looking if it had like any kind of max life on it. Doesn't have any kind of max life on it. Rubber ream. Lucky hit chance overpower 33%. See, that's... That's... That's nice. Oh, here. Gain primary resource for overhealing on life. That is the ring I've been looking for for such a long while right now. Uh, that That is the one ring to rule them all. Okay. You get that and things are things are good because now as i walk around and i get damaged but then i heal back up and then i get damaged but then i heal back up and then it's like just the rinse and repeat fiesta right we had another four minutes i could just kill the boss again i guess the other boss quickly you actually want to take damage right you want to heal up and then you get essence and you want to heal up and then you get essence and you want to heal up <sighs> so good Leveling should be hard, not that easy. Why? Why? I mean, only because things work for D2 doesn't work for D4. That's the most senseless logic in the world, my friend. <laughs> I mean, D2 is D2. D4 is D4. They are surprisingly two complete different games that have nothing to do with each other. Uh, apart from being both in the Diablo universe. D4, D2 was uh, hardcore friendly and a Renman from the past. Whereas D4 is a casual focused game for casual gamer moms and dads that have casual gamer mom and dad fun. 
And you might be surprised, but these people are actually enjoying the game tremendously. For some reason, only the people that want to take games too serious seem to have problems. Uh, I need more fortify. Do, 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 do. Oh, there. Did you see me heal and suddenly get essence, Chad? That was great, right? The beauty. Damn. I mean, let's, let's be real. The game is just doing really good. The people that take the game serious would be a lot more if leveling was harder. Yeah, but again, they make like 2% of the player base. So who cares about those 2%? <laughs> like the, the conundrum is that people that take the game serious actually believe that that they're that they're the majority, but they're the, like the tiniest part of the community that matters the least, you know? I mean, Diablo Diablo 2 might be the exception to the rule here, but that's also because, you know, it's it's... A remnant from the past with a lot of remnant from the past people sticking to it. And we're not saying Diablo doesn't need to do better because it needs to do better. Don't get me wrong. But it's definitely not by making the game more hardcore. That's, that's the, uh, that, is, that is not what's going to make Diablo better in any way. You know? You notice how, how much more essence we're getting? Insane. We get 86,000 experience for actually killing him, which is kind of cute. I, I, I just miss Endgame, Connor. Exactly. That, that's it. That's it. You know? That's it. It's not make the game harder. It's it's give us something, anything. And that's what the Abattoir of Zero is going to be, right? You're just seven hours in, you're at the end game. No, you're not at the end game. You're seven hours in and the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready yet. If you don't get the Lilith Wall, what can you take instead for the Tempest Necro? Well, there's no alternative. That's the problem. I mean, at that point, you would take the Shadow Blight more bonus damage aspect to just do more bonus damage, or you would put Disobedience on a shield randomly. Um, but you need the Lilith Wall, you know? Why don't you connect your build to a tab on your stream? I uh, What? Is there is there a D4 armory at this point where you can do that? So I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a D4 armory where you can do that. Okay, we have it five hours in, guys, and we are not 55 yet. So I think we're gonna probably. I mean, what, what what's the what's the hold up? Probably like another another 15 minutes to 55, and then after we get 55, we can finally. Do the capstone dungeon. Or not. Or die. Or die horribly trying. It'll be the interesting point, right? Are we going to do the capstone dungeon? Or are we going to die horribly trying? <sighs> Cluppy. And G Gerdin, by the way. Ger 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 Gerdin. Thank you for the brand new Prime subscription. And the 40 months of sub or dubbers. Very much appreciate. Also, thank you for 400 viewers, actually. In the Diablo category, chat. Even after Twitch drops are gone. Ha. Huh. Ha. Don't forget the 70 on YouTube as well. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube is cooking on the side. Overpower damage, 22%, another 45%. This is suddenly where overpower starts rolling, right? We're at 355%. I mean, after we're done, we're going to probably aim for 500% overpower. going to be good. Is there a better weapon? No better weapon yet. Uh, that's the, actually not the question. No better weapon yet. We could try to get a weapon that actually does has overpower on it, right? Okay, we get that done. We get that done. Uh, that Yes, finally the flip. That's what we're looking for. If you try casual, well, what do you consume as casual? A casual gamer plays one to two hours, if even. And a casual gamer also plays uh, per day. And a casual gamer does also not play efficient. So a casual gamer to really reach level 100 takes probably around two weeks. If not four weeks, because again, one to two hours per day is actually a lot for gamer moms and dads, aka casual gamers. 
uh, with a job, you know, and a life, and so on. Uh, then, then just saying like, you know, two, two to four weeks probably to reach level 100, depending as a casual gamer. Uh, then, then also like only because you really reach level 100 doesn't mean you're going to be able to clear the capstone. Done. Uh, you're going to be able to clear Uber Lilith. Then you would probably have to farm some gear to kill Uber Lilith. So that comes on top of that, right? You want to farm the gear. You want to get some of the cool new uniques and that kind of stuff. Uh, you want to min max a little bit maybe you want to kill mommy so you're gonna be busy like for around six weeks per season as a casual gamer uh which is a generous estimate to be honest and that seems pretty good for seasonal content for a casual gamer now that being said as someone that is extremely hardcore you can be done in three to four days with everything that the season has to offer Are you playing casual? I'm not playing casually. I'm doing the most efficient XP thingy without hating myself, aka Domheim Tunnels. You know, my 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 level route is doing the smartest things, aka like at every stage of the level journey. Okay, at every stage of the level journey, like go world tier three early, then do the strongholds to actually you know get the best XP curve. Then then you're doing um. Then you're doing one, two Legion events to get like two levels per Legion event because you're under leveled. Then, then as soon as you're 45, you can essentially just start going back into the overworld. Then you start doing overworld again and you fast track XP there as well. As we're doing overworld here, as we do right now for the levels, you know, with the hell tides and so on together, uh, we're getting level 55 to then go to world tier four. And there we're going to do the capstone. Uh, there, there we're going to do the uh, strongholds again to essentially get level 60 and as soon as you're level 60 and you have ancestral gear you've officially reached the end game and you can start farming nightmare dungeons you know so yeah re realistically again what i said is that four to six weeks for a casual player to reach the end game content like like yeah, I think four to six weeks for like for like the majority of the community and let's say 80% uh, is is to kind of finish the game um, per season. Which I guess is okay. I mean, for for free expansion that that you get for free and then you get four to six weeks of content bonus. Uh, and now and now we're also getting the Abattoir of Zero. Don't forget that also is for the hardcore gamers. Uh, speaks like pretty much for the game in my eyes so far but yeah now making the game harder essentially makes these four to six weeks uh back to eight to ten weeks and that feels like every three months you would have to play eight to ten weeks of diablo to get to enjoy all the content that's not realistic for casual gamers you know like merely four weeks per three months two weeks for casual as me for uber lilith and how much game did you play how much time did you spend per day tate that's, that's like that's like uh, you know on average dangerous part when even two weeks you got to consider that's two weeks of your gaming time right of all your gaming time and you're not just playing diablo correct this is this is like in the grand scheme of things, of playing more than one game, because obviously not every gamer eats shits and, and bleeds Diablo, right? No, people people actually have more gaming interests than one game. And considering that in two weeks, you could technically beat everything the season has to offer currently without the gauntlet, which is going to come, uh, seems seems pretty good. Two to three hours after work, but that with uh, busted ball lighting. Okay. That's also to consider, right, what, what you're going to play there. But yeah, like even even if you do two weeks and then and then you play for another week. So let's say three weeks every three months. That sounds like plenty time. You know, that, that that's like that's plenty time. But, but but then you would be done with Diablo and that's OK, because then you're going to go play another game until the next season comes out. Right? Or am I missing something here, Chan? New character tactical flow. Oh, we're just uh, testing out a level build. 
And the pinnacle for this level build is going to be the capstone dungeon. So the goal right now in the next uh, 30 minutes is that we're going to, I mean, we have it like 509. So we're going to like fast track to level 55 currently uh, by finishing this event here, saving some villagers. And as we fast track our, our last little levels, uh, we're going to then finally be, oh no, little villager, don't die. Villager, step bro. Oh, it's ghouls. It's lowland ghouls. Okay, well, I gotta go back to the other side of the map. So that's where I feel like, you know, maybe maybe, maybe I'm just being super duper. Thank you for the one gifted sub. Very appreciate it. Super duper. Do 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 love to see you there. Thank you very much, my friend. So if I'm if I'm wrapping this all together, and now with the Abattoir of Zero actually getting endgame, yeah, again, I, I don't see just an argument to make Diablo harder. So that, that's what we're coming back to. Why did we do all this moth, guys? Because we're having, an, we're having a discussion about would Diablo and Harder make the game better, uh, last longer, um, be played more, you know? And I just, I just can't see a single argument for it. Where Harder is better. Or where where more more difficult leveling is is better. Is there any way to spam blood surge without losing um without losing essence? To a degree, it can be done right here, as you see. I mean, you have the ring of starless skies, right? Ah, uh, the ring of starless skies. You have the Starlight Aspect, which I'm using right now. And that one gives me 40 Essence whenever I heal for 25% of my life. The problem is this one only works when you, when you actually take damage. So you would have to play this build in a way that you would be taking continuous damage to then continuously heal. So what you have to do is you have to essentially play this with an extreme high armor value, like 14k armor, right? that you're essentially continuously, oh, someone is doing the event, that you're continuously armored, and then you would technically be able to say uh, you're you're just healing the whole time with Blood Surge, uh, so you're continuously getting Essence because you're healing, um, and then and then you could like use the Aspect to like continuously have Essence. Alternatively, there is a way where you could be using the Sacrilegious Ring to automatically explode corpses, and then you would use these automatically exploding corpses to essentially continuously... That's another 200 size. That's just YOLO. Uh, you would use these um, continuously exploding corpses to then get like six essence per exploding corpse on the side the whole time. Uh, Plus the essence you're generally getting for for just like you know existing I guess and then and then you would like hopefully be able to just keep your casting up the whole time. So re potential, yeah, potential, potential. Okay, gotta finally teleport out again because there was too much. It's just too much happening. I have Death Speaker Talisman and the Ring Spec Souls. Just got Litless Wall. What build is best currently using Bone Spear? I mean, with Litless Wall, you have a plethora of builds in front of you. Um, and we have them all listed on our YouTube if you want to check it out. There's, there's not one good build with Litless Wall. There is a bunch of good builds with Litless Wall. One better than the other. That's maximum life. That's a straight up taker. Um, now we're looking for a weapon that... See, that's 81% overpower damage plus. That 81% brings us suddenly up to 627. Right? Which makes all our overpowers just be so much so much more than what it currently is. Quite nasty. Another maximum life plus. That's good. So we're slowly looking for maximum life items. That we would be able to... actually do the capstone dungeon okay 
I mean, right now, how much life do I have? 2,000 life? It's not really much. But you saw how before I got some items, my overpower was at 255%. Now I got some items and some Paragon points, and suddenly we are at 660% overpower. Sounds pretty reasonable to me, huh? <laughs> Sand pretty. Oh, it's actually it's about time that we've swapped over to a one-handed thingy. Hmm. I need a world boss for that. That's for sure. What's a good build with little as well in the soul ring that doesn't need any other unique? Uh, that that is the tempest storm build. Tempest storm. Shadow blight super damage. Absolute incredible, overwhelming flipper clappers. Okay, where, where did I get these two from now? Uh, let us wall with the flicker boots. Flicker boots are lost. Flicker boots are live. Anyone saying different is lying. We all know it's good. Oh, collection of chest plates. Come on, give me give me a high level chest plane. Something cool. Father Hoff needs needs something to that has a lot of life on it. You know? Okay, we're almost 55, ladies and gentlemen. Damage while healthy. I would like to, but like, so in order to reach this, I need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need another 10 Paragon points to reach that. And it would be perfection for Elias to kind of get to that point. But it's also unreasonable. You will just not get to that point before you get to Elias, right? Is there a specific boss you can farm for Littlest Wall? Yes. Uh, the boss is called Lord Zir. And you need to do Legion events and world bosses to get the materials for, for Lord Zir. Yes, there's a specific boss you can farm. And yes, you can you can work in that direction. Okay, now I'm going to head myself back to this dude again. And I'm essentially going to try to get the blood lures... I would need to summon that boss in the middle because that would fast track my XP, right? There's another lure. I'm not ready yet. I should be able to do it alone thing. Why not actually need it? I might just be able to Get the XP I need like this. Come on. Curse you. See how with a little bit more... With a little bit more overpower, you're suddenly doing all the damage in the world. And it's more than enough to overwhelm anyone. Doo-doo. Come all here, do do do, pull them all together. You're just you're just killing them all. See, <laughs> and that, that's what I would rely on, like killing Elias. I I would just I would just literally just try to do so much damage that he can't just can't just kill me. So win win by win by elimination, I guess. That's currently my game plan. When I just need to get enough life, I have two thousand currently. I think two thousand is. I think three thousand three thousand. You actually survive all of his one hits. I tried it once already, because I wanted to know how how easy Elias would be in hardcore. So I essentially made a hardcore build, and I really I really like picked every single item that could have max life. I picked up max life on that item to to essentially be like, yeah, you know, well, worst case, worst case scenario, we'll just out heal him. We'll just we'll we'll just survive him because what, what's the worst part when you do the capstone dungeon and you just get one hit and you're just like, oh, yeah, that, that, was, that was great. You know, oh, it was a great experience. Oh, more more of that, please. Yeah, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this shit? OK, you know what? Come on, we, we do it. Put one in, put one in. A 
I'm not going to do all four. You put one in. Come on now. Yeah. Psst. You just, I like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do, like, I'm not going to put all my things in. Is Black River used for Blood Surge as well as Litless Wall? No, Black River is not used at all in Blood Surge. Like, there's no way you can use Black River. It makes no sense. Uh, it is, it is like, it's horrible. Because you would be losing the overpower on the weapon. And overpower on weapon is significant. That's like another 60%. Yes, yeah, like 68%. And 68% with the multipliers you're running in general. It's just, it's just too big. You, can, you can't say no to that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're 55 after 520. If I'm now able to get the uh, capstone dungeon done in the next 10 minutes, uh, we are we are perfect. Do we believe that it's possible? I cannot carry more. I cannot carry more. I have I have too much. There is too much. I cannot carry more. Oh god, there's even more. Jesus, could you stop just sending them our way? I cannot carry more. Still not. Okay, that was great. Now let me get out of here. Stubborn enough not to fail. I mean, we might have to take a potion, right? Okay, what do we have? We have a helmet. No total life on the helmet, right? Oh, that's that's max life on the helmet, but it's not like yeah, it's 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 less uh, armor, but it should be it should be worth it. Uh, that one has a bit max life on it, but we we just need a wee bit of max life. That's also dex strength everything. Be a hard sell here because this one this one had just so much more stats going on, right? Uh there's no weapon. There is gloves, the, the blood surge, two ranks, and overpower damage. Look at me. I'm the captain now, Chan. I mean you definitely have to look out to get the vampiric power, I guess, right? These pens have max life on them as well. A well, blood skills overpower gets you attack speed. That's nice. That's that's literally perfect for the dungeon here, Chan. Okay, let's see. What can we what can we do? What 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 can we what can we do? Uh well, that's a that's a flat fast blood ring. That's actually cute. The disobedience on the helmet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip disobedience of the helmet and slam it like on on the on something, I guess. Okay, we're gonna take the disobedience because that's gonna make us vastly more tanky, right? So we're preparing for the nightmare dungeons with the tools given to us. Here, take take the uh, well, take the helmet, take the disobedience, slap it on. Good. 1.1k disobedience roll. We have our blood surge novas. We get blood skill overpower. Uh, we're going to have to upgrade the weapon a couple of times, right? And then we're going. Also, cooters, good to see you there. You and your community. Thank you for the 97 raiders. I hope you've been enjoying your stream. And the missing drops have not been disastrous as they are for our category. Holy balls, McGee. Thank you very much. Uh, let's upgrade this five times just because we can. To give it 121% overpower damage, which puts us at 750% now. And level 70 into the uh, level 55. Now, wait, before we do this, nah, uh, 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 let's do the reasonable thing with our reasonable resources. Uh, we get another one, two, three, four, because more than four is like ludicrous to go for, but that's 400 max life. So we're now at 220 max life. Uh, you could take the gloves and do one, two, three. 
three. Okay, now we're checking for vampiric powers. I get everything running but blood boil. And for that, I would only need three more ferocity, uh, three more uh, skulls. And we can do that because then we essentially have like all the vampiric powers running that we would need for this, right? So we take three skulls. That, that should be something we have. And then one, two, three. All vampiric powers working. Off we go into the dungeon. Exactly. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to mingle and tingle, jingle and bingle, bingo, bingo and bongo. Who, who believes? Who believes? 50 50 chance, 50 50 vote. Get a grandfather from Duriel. Uh, what build other than Bone Storm would you envision? Uh, Bloodlands. Bloodlands can do incredible damages, and with the crit from Grandfather, even more. Or you would be going for an Ixfeld's Corroded Signet, and Ixfeld's Corroded Signet can crit extremely nice. The problem is Ixfeld's Corroded Signet plus. Uh, Plus Grandfather, plus the Ring of the Sacrilegious Souls into Corpse Tendril Aspect and the Blighted Aspect. Getting all of that together is... Oh, it's pain. It's pain. It's pain. So, it'd be clunky. And I'm happy with your Necro, Raphael. How can we help? We're, we're the Necro Help Hotline. So, if there's anything we can help you with, please holla dollar builds, y'all. But yeah, end of the day, like, sadly, either Bones, uh, either Bone Spear or Bloodlands are the best builds for Grandfather. Everything else is kind of like clunky with Grandfather. Uh, what aspect would you put on the Focus Shield if you don't have Litless Wall? Uh, disobedience, disobedience, or bonus Shadow Damage. Grandpappy was Starless. I want Starless, and then I don't even want Grandpappy. That's the thing. So, so if I get Starless, I could make a build that it has like infinite essence. A Bloodlands build that has infinite essence. I could do it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's see how hard this is going. Wait, let me put on a Demon do, do we have a Demon Slaying Elixir? Okay, here. 900 Armor Elixir. Oh, it's my first Elixir I'm taking. Seems reasonable for this. Oh. Nuke. Nuke you. Nuke me. Nuke us together. Keep in mind, this is not even the maximum damage because we don't have maximum fortify running, right? <sighs> I told you I'm stubborn enough to make this work. There's almost 100k overpowers happening. Very happy to see that. Highest was now 68. That's almost 100k, by the way, in my books. Yep. This is exactly how I imagine it to go. This is vastly better than Blood Surge minions. So I played Blood Surge minions, same like similar build, but I had minions with me at this stage. And the biggest problem with if you have minions with you right now, you're missing out on 25% overpower damage. Percentage plus plus. Wait, do I not have my points? Oh my goodness, I have my points set wrong. Oh, this is going to be nice. Chad, this is going to be very nice because I am currently missing some points where they are supposed to be. <laughs> oh, hell nah. I'm running around very inefficient. I could even get more. Boom. Okay, everyone dead. So what we're missing is, for some weird reason... No, we have them in, but it's not showing the, the tooltip as upgraded. That's weird. It's only 5 a.m. Why are you awake so early, everyone? Holy. I don't find build with blood surge and overpower. Well, you came to the right space. 
Raphael. I mean, we have a Blood Surge overpower build for endgame and for leveling. Uh, the endgame build is absolutely incredible. Fly through tier 100 dungeon, obliterates bosses left, right, and center. Yami King, good to see you there, brother. I mean, at this point, I have builds for everything but Bone Spear because I don't play Bone Spear, right? So every single Necro build you can essentially imagine, every single Necro skill you can think about, I have a build for it. And if you ask why, the answer is why not? Why wouldn't I? Okay, I don't like how they're chasing me, so I'll just nuke him. I'm not ready. Right? Right? Oh, the end. I'm not going to pick it up because it's going to be most likely too high level for me. Uh, why is the timer running? The timer was running uh, to world tier 4. So this is essentially a how efficient can I be while not super tryharding. How long would it take with this build to get world tier 4 by playing smart? Okay. So this is literally how casual gamer dad would play. You know, forgetting to use elixirs. Uh, not playing together with a team. You know, but, but doing every single thing smart. So, aka... Uh, doing the capstone dungeons when you're supposed to do them, not wasting your time in, um, not wasting your time in nightmare dungeons because we all know nightmare dungeons are useless, right? We all know that, chat, don't we? Don't we all know that nightmare dungeons are useless until you're in the ancestral realm, until you're finally world tier four, and then we can talk, right? So yeah, you know, doing things smart essentially. Oh, you could be a bur uh, like a slight issue. <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> Suck. So doing everything smart, not hard. Ah, uh, you would try more builds. Well, I just reskill my actual character. The good thing is shadow builds are extremely interchangeable. So there's four different ch shadow builds on my YouTube, and they're all interchangeable. Okay. Very easily. These guys are the bane of my existence, guys. They're the, the strongest problem with the, the Nightmare Dungeon. So they're, they're, they're the biggest issue, and they're my, they might make this hard. Do you notice how I never run out of Essence as long as they're hitting me? And that is where the Ring of Starless Skies comes from. Uh, not Scar where the Star where the Starlight aspect comes right now in. Because it just refills my Essence like crazy. You notice where we're taking damage and then our essence comes back up and then we're taking damage and our essence comes back up. I was really lucky that I found the ring. Uh, without the ring, it would be possible as well. But I just found it, so I'll take it, you know? Didn't take it out of my stash. Swear on me, mom. Actually found it in the wild. Okay, where's, where's the other opponents we're looking for? There you go. Oop. You just teleported on me. I almost died. Yep. <laughs> you just teleported on me and killed me. First death, Chan. But the ring seems bugged. No, the ring is working exactly as intended. The problem is that the working as intended is not cool. Okay. So what do I mean with it's working as intended? The Ring of Starless Skies uh, says when you heal for 25% of your life, you get resource, right? Um, or the Starlight aspect. Uh, the problem is that heal does not include overheal, even though you're still healing. So technically, even if you're overhealing 25% of your existing life, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't factor that in. Now you could say that's bullshit because even overheal is heal, right? But on the other hand, maybe it would be a little bit too powerful if overheal would count. I mean, reasonably, let's let's be reasonable for a second as much as I wanted to count. Um yeah, like wouldn't wouldn't overheal be a bit too much? Like come on. Because if if overheal would count, I I I would essentially get Endless essence, right? Because you're endlessly overhealing. 
Like there's no limit to overheal essentially. So they they would have to introduce a new overheal cap or something like that to to kind of to kind of make this not go too crazy, right? It'd be like the only way how how that could reasonably not not cause a problem. Okay. I need more time. So yeah, that's that's how I'm looking at it, if that makes sense. Okay, what do we think, Chad? Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, no, maybe. Is he gonna just nuke us with his first attack and we're just gonna be like, okay, back to the we have five thousand armor, okay, Chad? We have five thousand armor, our resistances are boosted as well. Uh when we do absolute damage to him, huh? Yeah, I gotta look out that that it didn't one hit me, so that's good. No, no, he just, he just does like a very good amount of damage with like that fire and everything to, to really say like we're getting past that. I mean, damage is, damage is nice here right now. Uh, I think what I want to try is I need to find an opponent here that I can, that I can hit. So I have like full, um, fortify, you know, so leave, leave the priest alive. So I can just kill, keep killing these guys. Oh shit, I accidentally killed him. Didn't mean to kill you. Because you want to go in like with full fortify into the fight because it makes you just stronger. Right? It, it essentially doubles your damage. How how can I how can I just not get hit by the fire? That's my that's my question. How how do I avoid getting hit by his fire circle? I, yeah, that one I can dodge. Okay, that that one I that one I need to dodge too. Fire risk potion. It's actually not fire damage. We tried. Like I I I tried to figure out if fire risk potion would help. The answer was it wouldn't actually help. So no no fire risk potion is doing it. I mean, again, you really don't need to do this with this level, but that's not the point, right? Because we want to do it with this level. This build will go to level 100. Oh, this build can straight up go to level 100. There, There's a few alterations you would make on your way to level 100, but it, it just can straight up go. I'm surprised at how much you can like literally run his uh Ah ah I should have I should have gone into blood mist. There was like too much of his of his like he was just, just channeling the thing and the other thing and the other thing. Whew. Do you have a link to this build? Uh it's linked in our latest YouTube video right now. Um, I didn't, I didn't flesh it out nicely yet. So the, the written, the written guide for this one is not, not that decent right now. And this build do Ubers. Yes. I mean, this is like an absolute tier 100 earth shattering build. When it, when it, when it's completed, you know? Oh, I, 
I just I just eat ate way too many potions there. Because our biggest upset is like standing just close to him. Right? So I I need to stand close to him to to I need to stand close to him to to do my blood search, and and he just he just hits me with everything close to him. I'm gonna upgrade the potions. Uh, stubborn mostly. You know, stubborn, stubborn mostly. Well, we could just we just go level eight. I mean, we're we're just again we're trying it just to do it like very very nice and efficient. Um, I mean, why why do him at this level anyways? Stubborn. Ow. No, I was in blood mist for that one. Ah, oh, I was trying to not use my potions like, you know, and it worked and it kind of nice. Uh, max life potion. I don't think max life potion is the the issue right now. It's more like uh, just just uh, not getting hit by the fire, you know. I'm not ready yet. But it's that level fifty five is this magical level where I just want to be able to do it. I fire just so much. I fire just so much, right? I guess when he does that attack, my most reasonable thing I could do is to just blunt mist. Okay, Chad? I played Infinity Mist much. I don't play Infinity Mist. I play Littlest Storm, which is vastly more efficient than Infinity Mist. So yes, I've played Infinity Mist, but, but not Infinity Mist. Aha! Did I just get hit by both blood thingies? Am I, am I just that bad instead of just standing in one AFK to just get hit by both? Seriously? Did I just do that, Chan? <laughs> Did you see me go like, like an absolute idiot? I, I really managed that, huh? I wanna I wanna uh, I wanna know a fire resistance potion. Okay. Okay, we'll 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 keep doing this, okay John? And then we get to stop like getting getting hit by that. Ah, here, here. Blood miss once in a while. I'm not ready yet. This is truly a damage phase for us here when when he when he goes like in Let's fill up our essence here. I made a mistake. No, no, the fire thingies. I had the blood mist ready. No. Okay, I, I guess we have it, Chan. I guess we have it. We we just need, uh, we just need like things now. Bought new necro shadow build and loved it. But at level eighty, my rests are so low. What do you suggest to do? If your rests are low, you just get the fifteen percent shadow damage rid, and you just get twenty percent resistance there. That's it. Done. You know, it's it's like it's like sometimes it's that simple. I do the same thing for dungeon pushing, 
So whenever I push a Nightmare 100, I sacrifice a little bit of damage to essentially... Um, Come on now. Who did who did who, who did they do so much fire damage to me? Like seriously? We'll be using Banish Lord's Talisman for this build. Yes, this build uses Banish Lord's Talisman. It uses Litless Wall, Ring of Sacrilegious Souls. Um, it is not using. No, it's actually not using the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls yet. Because I've personally not found big use for it in this build. Um, maybe a future version will also run the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls, but right now it doesn't need it at all. So let me quickly just update the potion, Chan. I, I don't even I don't have the Gallow Vine to upgrade the potion. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I hate to say this, but I just simply do not possess the Gallow Wine. See what you can you can upgrade in? By one level. I mean, that's the 45 potion now. Okay, chat. I, I want you to all cheer for me because we're going to get this done. I mean, again, what were we missing? We're missing a chest piece that has maximum life to just be even more safe and a helmet that misses maximum or a hel Oh, we can actually upgrade the helmet. <gasps> that's true. We can get another 200 helmet for uh, 200, 200 life for upgrading the helmet. So we should probably swap this vampiric power around. And we could do bone storm instead of corpse explosion because we essentially don't use corpse explosion, right? In this fine ever. So there there's a world where we just say um Now at, at this point it might be time to swap it around. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah! I'm not ready. No, what? I, I, I hit the one and I they dashed into the other. What am I? What am I, stupid? What am I, stupid? What am I, stupid? Yeah. I am stupid. The moment you're like... I need to dash to avoid the damage, and then you take like one damage and the other. Ow, ow. Not stupid, just foolish. Hehe. <laughs> Sean Lord Path, Timothy. But we should we should definitely try out to mix in the um yeah, just stand still. Honestly, just, at this point, just eat it. I just dodged that. Like an absolute professional. Bro can't, bro can't do any damage to me. I, I am the chosen one. He, he thinks he's him, but I am him. No, 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 no. Ah. I'm not ready. I need more time. Aha. Shows a one. No! Potions! Potions! Oh, you need to kill him here before he does that, huh? I remember this being a thing. 
Woo! Ladies and gentlemen! <sighs> Once again, without min-max gear, just I, I went, I went transcending. I went into the nether realm. We we overwhelmed him. He had no chance. He got he got he got beaten. He got clapped. He got eaten. The full package. I see what could have taken this helmet, by the way, with Beria from 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 shenanigan and then we oh see perfect timing chat and now there's a world boss and if we kill this world boss now right there's a big chance that we get a 925 weapon like this is the crazy part right world bosses drop 925 items so whatever weapon i get from the world boss i could get a max damage weapon and if that also has a overpower role that obviously would be crazy but you you, you get the drift right just get just get a max level weapon and and you're done. Um, right now, f five hours and fifty, John. We're clocking in at that time. That was that was what we wanted to do. Wait, let me let me actually go into world tier four. So five hour and fifty, and this is this is like at a reasonable pacing that would be also possible for uh for casual gamer daddies and mommies, right? So what will we, what would you do now? Because world tier four is too hard. I mean, I'm level 55. World tier four would rip me a new one, which would eat me, spit me out, choke me and, and call me, call me father. So threaten me with a good time, essentially. Well, you would do, you would do strongholds now, right? You would just go and you would just do strongholds now. Pretty, pretty good. What a build absolutely dominating tier 100 dungeons. Yes. I mean, if you're looking to just have the easiest time possible in tier 100 dungeons, that would be um, the easy mode build up here. This is here, the S++ Necro easy mode build. Then this one is more fun oriented. This one is also more fun oriented, but it's it's extremely efficient, right? The Bloodlands build is also super safe to go through. I mean, this is Blood Surge, by the way. So this is the build it kind of develops in, just so you know. Uh, it's incredible. Then this is the Old Tempest Storm, which is still very good. That was my original build, which is actually getting the most views. It's crazy. Uh, and this is, by the way, the ne the method we have been using now for leveling. So if you're interested, this is the level method kind of like exp um, explained and broken down for Necro. I'm, I'm a casual. World Tier 4 is extremely doable, but I'm also a ball of lightning cheeser. Yeah, I mean, right now you wouldn't want to do the overworld because I'm level 55. The overworld is level 75, right? So it's not like that I can't kill anything in the overworld. It just makes no sense. Because now I could also go into Malinog, right? Which is which is now level gated down to my level. So we're going down to level 74. Uh, like we're going down to level 57. And I can kill everything. But you see my my XP is still moving at a reasonable rate. Right? And that that's because like I'm still getting all the bonus XP this tier has to offer. Right? I'm getting all the, the beautiful cheesy bonus XP. Um but without the dangers of the tier. So now, now I can obviously farm down these, these uh, last strongholds I have left, which is quite significant. And you do another Legion event also, always do the Legion event. And you're essentially straight away level 60. Like one Legion event right now would give me two levels, uh, doing like three, four strongholds gives me the last three levels. And then, and then you're done. And you're level 60, you get your ancestral gear, you get your world boss uh, 925 weapon, and you're essentially able to just do tier 21 dungeons. That's the crazy part, you know? You're, you're just right, right, or straight away able to do tier 21 dungeons. I mean, think about it. The Legion event right now, I think there's none cooking up. There's one cooking up, see in eight minutes. And that one give me two levels, and then we're we're like level sixty, right? So that would be the last the last leap for this build to kind of take. I would get blood harvest, open some chests. Yeah, but you can you can do that at any point right now, correct? So so there's no there's no need to go for it because I can't wear the ancestral gear anyways. 
But if I then need the ancestral gear, if I need more ancestral gear, I just go into a blood harvest and as you're saying, just start opening blood harvest chest and, and we're done. We can, we can straight away, we can straight away get all the ancestors we're looking for. What would you recommend starting with Helltides? We actually did Helltides from level 52 to 55. Uh, like one Helltide gave us two levels because of all the chests. No, what was one Helltide? Yeah, it gave us two levels because of all the chests we've been opening. So that was extremely quick. High recommendation for Helltides in that regard. But like, I, I would start with them in World Tier 3. Like again, when you're like that, the respective level to kind of do the overworld content around 55. And then, and then you can do it. I mean, we have it all outlined in the video that we uploaded today. You know, it's kind of like a how to level video uh, at any point in, in your journey. And I really like that video because it kind of like breaks down wh where to be at which level. Which I think a lot of people struggle with because they're often like, I am level 72 and I don't know what to do. In World Tier 4, 60. Again, when you can wear ancestral gear, you can also do that. Oh, I, I never claimed the... I never claimed the bonus XP, Chan. I never claimed the bonus XP. What? Look look how much bonus XP that now was. Take it or leave it. Take it, preferable. Okay, let's go to that Legion event because we really want to see how much XP it is, right? How high is your lucky hit and crit chance made on your Litless Storm easy mode build? Uh, crit chance is around 70% uh, when the Litless Storm and Grasping Veins is active. And lucky hit is around like 40 to 45% or something, something like that, or 50%. Season journey claimed. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I can't I can't claim the season journey. I have already claimed the season journey. Right? Uh, I do strongholds every time in tier 3 in HC. This looks interesting, but in HC I got on... Yeah, like in, in hardcore, there's no reason to go world tier 4 this early. Elbow. I mean, in, in, in Hardcore, I would probably go World Tier 4 on 60 still. Uh, because Elias is easy to beat on 60. I mean, I just beat him on 55 with Hassle, but I could beat him easy on 60 if I just have the few more levels, the few more Paragon points, right? Less than. Um, we'll quickly wait here. And I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I'm running upstairs to get myself a piece of bread so I'm not dying of hunger or thirst. You think about very smart questions or just look smart, look good. Um, don't forget to Prime Sub, and I'll be there.
Hey, sorry, John. I had to get in a fight with the wife upstairs about chairs that get blown away by wind and other stuff. You know? So, uh, what, what do we have here now? A Legion of End. 24 seconds. Let's see. I got a giant ass wrap filled with cheese and salami because I didn't have anything at home, so... The cheese and salami wrap now. <laughs> no, it, it was a fun fight, but I won. You know, it was one of these, one of these arguments. I won. I'll regret it later. Give me experience. So I said it's going to be two levels, right? Let's let's see if it's actually two levels or if I if I did overestimate the power of the Legion event. I mean, what one level is secure, that's for sure. I already made a Paragon point just from the first two packs of mobs, essentially, right? But now I, I'm useless here, right? I, I'm not I'm not doing much. That's the level 100. Why are they not doing anything? Hello, level 100s. Am I disconnected? Am I still in the game, Chan? They were, they were not doing any damage. There's a couple of level 100s. Well, what are you doing? Like, looking good? Now, my wife is a reasonable woman, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she even said she's wrong two times yesterday. I know, crazy. It might be that aliens abducted her and, and swapped her out for, for, for someone else. I'm having to find that out still. I need to stand somewhere where I get the, like the dual, dual XP. Why are you running away, level 54? Ow. You baited them into me, Chan. I died for the level 54. For my horse. My horse is amazing. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's go. No, the level 86 should just tearing be, should just be tearing through this. But, but when the, when the level 86 is not tearing through this, well, what are we doing? Chan. What, what, what are we doing if the level 86 player is not is not absolutely destroying what, what he's supposed to be destroying? What are we supposed to do then? He's he's like he's like he's meant to just dive in there and bam 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 everything that bam 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 bam. What if he doesn't? Ah, almost died there. You know what? I did expect a little bit more XP. I'm still happy about the XP, but I did expect a little bit more. Can I use an Umbra Ring with Little Storm build? Yeah, but why would you? So Blight is another bonus source of damage in the in the build, right? But it's not like that. You need to throw the Blights. You always throw the Blight when you have the Blights. Um, but it's, it's not like a main component of your, of your damage that you like actually need the blights going on. Right. So, oh man, that's, that's kind of like where I'm saying, okay, why, why are you not pressing number two anymore? Because I, okay. You're not, you're not like accepting numbers. That's, that's fine. No, no, it's going okay. So yeah, um, fine. I'm a wife that can admit when she's wrong. It's rare, but it happens. It's rare, but it's it's cherished. That kitty said it twice. One day. It was like, I, I marked it in the calendar. It's the first time in many years.
Okay, give me all the XP. Come on, bait him, bait him. Achievement unlocked? Yes. Cherish it. There's just no advantage of being right, correct? <laughs> when, when, when is that? Uh, when, when about in, in like you know regarding certain topics, it's like it, it's 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 good to be right, but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't help in this situation, anyways. Hmm. On my way. So that was now one whole level for a Legion event. I actually did expect there was more than one whole level. But I guess I'll take it, right? To have, to have one whole level or to not have one whole level. It was efficiently proven the build works. The way I suppose it should work. I wanted like my, my main goal about this build was finishing the hell uh, finishing the capstone dungeon at 55. Because that was like, you know, if, if this build can't do it, then 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 it, it like the whole concept would suffer, you know? Well, I get an ancestral ring with this. That's bullshit. What am I getting? Oh, I, I got this ring of sacrilegious soul almost as the perfect role. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what that means for your leveling journey? Actually, it makes you so much faster. Like once you're 16, you can put that on. It's free falling. And again, no overworld content yet until you can put on ancestral gear. I feel like overworld content is just a waste of your time. Right? Do another two legion uh, do an, do another two strongholds and then the next legion event is already up. Done. I need more time. It's just crazy to me how in inefficient um Oh, I, that's an event. I, I I just ran in here because I thought I was at the stronghold. Just some random goat event. I need more time. From eighty to one hundred. Well, that that's plenty easy. Uh, eighty to one hundred is mostly uh like it's everything. Nightmare dungeons, legion events, hell tides. And blood harvest if you still need it. I mean, if you're still lacking potent blood, you obviously want to finish the blood harvest. But you're you're doing everything, right? I mean, at that point of the journey, like it's it's like just wrapping up the game. It's not any more any tempo, right? There, there's not a being more efficient there. I mean, you can get faster to hundred, but what's the use for that? No. Because why would you be rushing for 100 at that point? At that point, you're trying to get your gear and you can get your like with level 80, for example, you can already do tier 60 nightmare dungeons. I'm a level 80. You can do like tier 60, tier 70 nightmare dungeons, which is good for a glyph XP. That was 100k overpower. So they are possible at that point. What level and class are you, Dreo, that you can't get Uber Lilith? I've done 30 Voshin runs and yeah, I'm I'm sorry you got you got robbed, sir. I did like 15 Voshins until I had my perfect sacrilegious souls. I definitely there. When are you playing uh, the new cod? No, the new cod is horrible. 
I am very happy that I am not forced to play the new COD right now. I am, I am in the lucky position. I mean, like, let's call it a lucky position, okay? But I'm in the lucky position that I positioned my stream to be able to survive without COD. Right? So I am in no way forced to play COD. I can completely ignore the existence of it, which is fun. I mean, if I want to play it, I can still play it. Right? But I'm at least not forced to play it to even exist. You're level 81 Druid. Why do you want to kill Lilith as an 81 Druid? Confused Peppa face. Sometimes I miss the good old Hearthstone days. I mean, we still play Hearthstone Battlegrounds, which is fun. Maybe. But I do not miss the old Hearthstone days. Um... Sim simply because it was just it was just different times you know different times different worries still still hoping you know you, you could one day subdue this for a living other shenanigans you know i've seen the storm surge build <clears throat> which class i only play necro What's the name of the game? Uh, Pax Day. Pax Day. And we'll also be playing Pax Day tomorrow. I actually wait to show you some stuff there. It's not today because today we're also going to be playing uh, Warhammer 40k. I can't wait to show you actually Warhammer 40k as well. Does Necro have a possibility to use a Haverian? If so, what build to use? No, we can't even loot it. A Haverian can only be dropped by Druids and Mages. There's a Mages. So, no, no, no way for me to actually get it. Okay. Okay, Tordula. That one is also claimed, and now we're almost, almost level 57. And there's the world boss waiting for us in 18 minutes. I mean, we could use like, your runes of <laughs> What's setting off the corpse explosion, my fingers? I, I press the corpse explosion button when, when there's a corpse explosion. But I'm actually not corpse exploding. This is blood surge. So I like you haven't seen a single corpse explosion in the last 20 minutes. Like this, this is blood surge. And the the see, by the way, this is me doing overworld content. So I, I can I can kill things in the overworld. Right. But this is far from being efficient. So I'm not doing this. Right. Why would I why would I kill things in the overworld when I when I can barely when I can barely do it with my level currently? Uh, that's where we kind of like focus on the other stuff in the overworld, right? Like, you know, you, you can pull them together. You can hurt them. But it's just so much better to do the strongholds. Lots of blood search with high attack speed. I mean, we, we have we have a build like that. We actually have three builds like that. So, I mean, like pr probably pr you might have seen one of my videos, you know? I see my video. Imagine. What is the first bill you're gonna play on Abattoir of Zir? That depends on how much damage the things actually deal. So we're most likely going to either do the Blood Wave build or the Tempest Storm. There's a world where we go for Lidless Lands, but we're probably gonna go for the for the Shadow Storm build first. Because the Shadow Storm build is extremely tanky, as we know. Uh and not only extremely tanky, it's extremely tanky, followed up with um incredible uh incredible armor values and everything. So it should come out on top quite nicely and never die. You know?
Uh, 36,000 attack power. Uh, that's horrific to get to. Why, why would you want to get to 36,000 attack power? I mean, with overpower, it's easy to stack that amount of attack power. Just saying. Uh, but the problem is the attack power calculation doesn't make sense. And the attack power calculation doesn't actually say anything about your actual strength. You know? For example, my shadow builds generally have a lower attack power and still do incredible damages due to all the damage over time just being, like, very nasty. So, yeah, like, attack power doesn't actually say anything about your battle cap abilities or, like, the potential damage you're going to be dealing. Because attack power is just, just such a flawed concept, you know? Baz, good to see you there. Howdy. So, yes, it's quite quite hard to say, like, you know, how, how do you get high attack power, you know? Like, because the, the calculation is scuffed. You have, uh, based on your offensive stats, scaled with your currently wielded weapons, damage, and speed. Even though the speed doesn't really go all the way in every single time. And then your attack power is also not static, right? Your attack power is moving. So, if you're having, like, the shadow, uh, the shadow amulet that boosts your damage by 180%, then suddenly your attack power jumps from 20,000 to like 30,000 just because your aspect triggered, you know? So, yeah. Okay, world boss in 14 minutes. I don't want to miss out on the world boss because we're currently... I, I want to hope to get a like a max damage weapon, 925 item power. So so we can we can be closing out the chapter of the level Mansa. Before you, before you ask, yes, we, we literally just leveled this character to never play him again for a video. So, so we, we literally just leveled this character to then go back to our level 100 necro but i just wanted to see if the level build works because i'll be damned if i recommend a level build to you without actually testing the viability of the level build right I'm not ready yet. i just like being a credible creator you know You're level 55. How how a uh, tier do you recommend to do Nightmare Dungeon? Not none. None, Howie. Uh, I recommend you to get to level 60 with overworld. I mean, I recommend you to go for world tier 4, then to get to level 60, and on level 60 you can do tier 21 dungeons. That's what I recommend you doing. Because doing any Nightmare Dungeon below tier 21 is just a waste of your time. You know? It's just... just literally, I, I, I hurt like it hurts to say, but it's it's just literally a waste of your time. And uh, therefore, just, just rather do it higher. So, yeah. Uh, like, because, because, like, tier 10, uh, tier 15... Pfft. Uh, like, I mean, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. Like, they're all just, they're all just trash, right? No, don't even, don't even bother. Don't even waste your time. How fast could I kill that demonic corruption? You know, with, with overpower, how fast could I kill it? Come on, give me, give me, give me a bit, bit, bit more essence. Thank you very much. Come on, ladies. Aha. Killed. Oh no! It's it's a it's a fire explosion, dude. I have no chance of killing that in any way in this tier. Not not with my not with my level, not with my not with my things, not not with anything I have going on here. No, no, I can't kill you. It's impossible. Oh god, I killed him. <laughs> it should have been it should have been impossible like that we actually kill him, you know, like like just remotely because he, he just does damage and I don't I don't heal and then I don't uh... Yeah. 
Do a hell tide? No, I couldn't do a hell tide. With this level, I would never do hell tide. It would just be painful and boring. Um, like because this is like this is also inefficient, like during the overworld content here right now. I just literally do it because we're quickly waiting for um we're just quickly waiting for the well boss to spawn. But at, at this point, I would never do overworld content. At, at least not like uh, I would do another two, three strongholds until I'm 58, uh, 59. And then you can actually start doing overworld again. But here, like usually I would go to this Legion event now to do the Legion event. Uh, to get like 57, uh, 57 and a half. Then get the Tree of Whispers XP from the wall boss and then be ready to go, right? Their link to this leveling build can be found on YouTube in the latest YouTube video, where we essentially talk about how to how to level. There we go. Good. We're currently waiting for this to start. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away. While I'm staring at a second screen and I have to prepare something. Secret. I have a secret to prepare. There is, there is the cheese. There is the cheese. Perfect. Um, oh, there we go. Ah, yeah, perfect. That is that. That is there. That is this. By the way, do we have any Warhammer fans in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Because you like the secret. <laughs> Any, any skulls for the skull throne? Any blood for the blood god? You know, <laughs> the usual. Would you slot an Endies into any Necro build? So the problem about Endarial's Visage is, for the people that don't know what Endarial's Visage is, here's a picture. Here's, here's a picture about Endarial's Visage quickly. You don't know what it is, so this is Endarial's uh, there. Shadow damage. Um, it doesn't work in Necro that well because simply you have no way of scaling poison damage. You have no way of scaling poison damage. That being said, that being said, if you if you don't. <laughs> You don't have a good helmet aspect if you don't need a good helmet aspect. If if helmet aspect is free, why wouldn't you slot the Darius Visage? I mean, in my shadow builds, I could just randomly slot it in. It is completely useless. It does not do anything very good. It will make the build worse, but you could slot it in. I mean, the same with the Melted Heart of Selig. So I have one uber unique, guys. It's called the Melted Heart of Selig. It's trash. It, it's trash. Like, like there, there's literally one single build you could potentially make it work with. And even that build where you could potentially make it work with, um, it, even in that build is bad. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, you know, yay. <laughs> like, I, I could, I could, don't get me wrong, I, I could. It would, it would just like even be for that build. Terrible. The spreadsheet public? Yes, that spreadsheet is public. It's one of my many resources I create for you guys so you have a better time playing Diablo. Usually I would put it on a website, but I simply do not have the website available to put these things yet on to make it look good. This is my spreadsheet uh, with all the uniques and everything on it. So so there, there you go. There you go.
Oh, goodness, my arm hurts. Getting old. You know, I, th I think it's it's like after all this Diablo, we're finally there. Um, they were talking about the Christmas event. Will we be getting new enemies with the Christmas event? As far as I understood with the Christmas event, you'll see the map freezing over and there will be frost everywhere. There will be a new kind of opponent. There will be Santa Claus who's bringing like his cronies, right? It's going to be, it's, he's going to be a goat with a red thingy. So I, I don't think we're going to get new opponents. You're going to get old opponents that are going to look like new opponents, but they're older opponents. So expect everything you have in the game already, only that now uh, they, they look like, like a little bit different. Also, that outfit looks fantastic. Not going to lie, I'm tempted. I'm not, I'm not planning to actually ever give them money, you know? But I am tempted. There, there's, this, is, this is some absolute amazing looking armor, Chan. Right? That's some, that's, some, that's some cool looking shit. Especially with a shield too. Look at that shield. Father's Aegis, Chan. Holy. Radiant Sensor. I mean, this is the first time I'm actually tempted to, to spend money. But I refuse. Oh, goodness Christ. What does, what does, why, why do you have so cool things and I only have like terrible things? The Belladonna, you get the, oh, I get the veins of the blood saint as well. No, I have to say I like the other ones more. I mean, they, 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 like this one, this one, like the Hellgate Inquisitor looks also really nice. The, the Adepts of Faith. The Reign of Solitude. Uh, quite, quite some quite some good sets in there, right? I mean, right now I don't expect too much from the Christmas event because let's be real, the Christmas event is literally just there to to give us something festive. This is gonna be like, oh yeah, we, we get the Christmas event. So oh. But yeah, we all we all know that it's not going to be anything special. But we get a Christmas event, so I don't want to complain because we're getting a Christmas event, right? So I don't I don't really ever want to complain um, because because that's what we're getting, and and that's good. Okay, that one is set up. That one is running. The world boss is here in two minutes. Then we finally get our max level weapon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the last thing I have to do right now, oh, that is that. And then we are good to go soon. <laughs> Can't wait to show you all these new amazing games in the coming days. Oh, you will love it. be nice if those pieces of gear can drop in the game like really rare you mean the the new best of thingies same voice as hasanabi no i don't think i have the same voice as hasanabi at all i actually never watched him but no one sounds as weird as me chan But Hasanabi would essentially be, have to be a German that, that speaks English. I mean, imagine being a German that speaks English. Ooh. <clears throat> Yikes. You know? Okay, so let's get this going. And this is the pinnacle of the build, okay, Chan? It's gonna be the pinnacle. We, if we get something good here, that's going to be the thing that elevates this above everything else. If I get a weapon, then, then we're cooking. Why is Helltide's time gated in the other event and not? It's very simple because the other event is new while Helltide is old. The Helltide time gating made sense because it was the only end game we had. Now that we have the Helltide, I mean, now now that we have the Blood Harvest, we notice that a time-gated Helltide is stupid and shit. So I hope they'll rethink that, but we'll, we'll see, right? Let's 
So yeah. Uh, ha. Call it a learning process, Chan, where they slowly and steady understand that a lot of things they thought should work in a certain way X just really not make sense. You know? And you should maybe not do it that way. Where do you farm the littlest wall? You have to kill Lord Zier. Let me give you a link. There's exclamation mark unique farm in the chat. And this is a link to all the bosses and all the uniques they're dropping. Okay. But technically, it can also drop in any... any anywhere. Like, like, literally, I could kill this boss and it could drop. Okay. It's unlikely that it will happen, but it's not impossible that it will happen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my 925 gear is coming. Wee woo. Wee woo. Rim 1, 925. So you just you just need to get one single weapon, correct? And it's 925. Now, even with a shitty offhand, it would be absolutely incredible. And see, this is a 925 helmet, correct? And and I, that's that's not even it. I can also now get even more 925 gear from the ground cash. This is why world bosses are so crazy and actually kind of stupid at the same time. Because you can get level 60 and you get a weapon that you should technically only get when you're level 80, 90. Right? And that's kind of like... Pfft, difficult. Now we're getting a ring and a nightmare sigil. And that ring is also like a 842 ring, which is not bad. I mean, overpower damage 40%. Yay. Damage too close. This is actually a really good ring. Wow. If I could reroll the critical strike damage with bone skills into max life, this would be a fantastic ring. That's crazy. But yeah, so we have this one. And if I now put this one together with any offhand that has like 800 item power or something, right? Uh, I'm essentially going to, like, right now I deal 1,500 damage with a two-handed weapon. That's that one-handed weapon with a twice the attack speed of this weapon does already more damage plus an offhand. I'm going to do twice the amount of damage. I'm going to jump from 4,000 attack power to 10,000 attack power in one item swap. In, like, in one level. Like, boop. Boop. Not okay, right? I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, this is something where I am personally unsure about if I like this. I mean, for feeling powerful, yes. But at the same time, it's kind of getting any kind of... um, Any kind of farm feeling gone, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. It's It's... I'm undecided, right? Is, is this good? Is this bad? Is this ugly? Is this something you would want to have? Is this something you don't want to have? Okay, now where is my... Ah, uh, that's what I'm looking for. But, yeah. I guess it's not a problem. It's just more like... It, it just exists. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let that be it for Diablo, though, today, because we now have another game that we're going to be streaming. So we're going to be turning off the YouTube, but the Twitch continues. So thank you, YouTube, for watching our quick level journey fun fiesta. I really enjoyed it, and it was amazing. We're going to turn this one off now, and we're going to be streaming, though, still further on on Twitch. And we're going to be playing Realms of Ruin now with you.